Hello, I'm Leanne Carlson, the Clinical Training Manager for Ondine Biomedical and PeriaWave Dental Technologies, Inc. I'm also a practicing dental hygienist in a periodontal practice for almost 30 years now in Saskatchewan, Canada. I'm here with Siri, who has some questions about gum disease and about PeriaWave. Siri? Okay, so my first question is, how do I know if I have gum disease? Well, unfortunately, oftentimes it goes unnoticed because people aren't going to the dentist regularly, which is a no-no. Um, but if you have bleeding gums, if you have inflamed gums, if you have swelling, if you have exudate, receding gums, bad breath, any of those things, you probably have gum disease. Um, it goes unnoticed a lot of times because we as even clinicians and as the general public become far too complacent to think this is normal. If this happened anytime, anywhere else in our body, we would be running to the doctor. If, we, if our fingernails bled every single time we washed our hands, we'd be at the doctor's office, I guarantee you. But somehow people think it's okay to have bleeding gums or tissue. It's not. It's a disease, it affects our general health, and it needs to be treated. So when you say bleeding gums, mm -hmm. does that mean I'm brushing my teeth and there's blood coming out or is it just a little bit here and there? Is it only when you, like, at what point what does it is mean? it really gum disease mm -hmm. and should I be really concerned? Well, I guess I'll preface all that by saying that instinctively we don't brush and floss our teeth correctly. Um, you need to be instructed on how to do that. So if you're lacerating your tissues and it's hurting when you're flossing, chances are you're being too aggressive. But if you're brushing and flossing and there's blood as you're you know, cleaning your teeth, there's something wrong. And past the age of 30, not that you're there, Absolutely Siri. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. I mean, just like when we were in college that we could stay up all night and drink beer and eat pizza. We can't do that anymore. After the age of 30, we need to see a dental professional um, every six months. Even those of us in the profession need to see a dental professional every six months. There's no getting around it. And I can't emphasize enough that it is not normal to have bleeding tissue. It's not normal to have inflamed or swollen tissue. We need to start addressing that because it does affect our general health. So what can I do to prevent it or if I'm already there to how treat you, it? How do you treat it? Well, the first thing to prevent it obviously is to have your teeth cleaned regularly by a dental professional hygienist. Um, brush and floss correctly and as I say instinctively we don't seem to do that properly You'll so as I will teach you later um, <laughs> as long as you're doing that properly have them cleaned you know and checked regularly and then if you have gum disease there are a number of treatments um, the scaling and root planing or periodontal debridement we can do a more um, thorough job of that um, there are certain things like periodontal surgery, which we of course try to avoid. And coming from me, that's my livelihood because I work at periodontal. That sounds a bit dramatic. It is dramatic, but we also have periodontal therapy that we can treat with the perio wave. So this is at our disposal now. And I've been practicing, as I said, as a dental hygienist for almost 30 years. And during this time, I kept thinking something was missing. We were missing something and someday there would be some sort of breakthrough. Because as I've mentioned before, we were winning the battle but not the war. And I thought, in my heart of hearts, I think initially I thought that there would be some sort of magic antibiotic that would come out and we would give our patients that. It's not true. It's not. People have taken far too many antibiotics. There's not one that's specific enough to treat periodontal disease. We now have PerioWave. And it's a non-thermal diode laser that we use that's um, used with a photosensitizing solution. It's non-invasive. There is no discomfort to the patient to have it done. Really, all we do is we, we place the solution in the periodontal pockets or that space between your gum and your tooth where you have some inflammation or where you have some bleeding, uh -huh. and we activate the laser light. No discomfort to the patient, and it takes only 60 seconds per, per periodontal defect. So what goes in my gums? It's a solution. It's a photosensitizing solution that we okay. use, um, and it's blue in color. Okay. Doesn't stay blue. You're not going to go home looking like a Smurf or anything <laughs> like that. It washes away, and it uh, is activated by the laser light. It's actually very simple to use, and, and as I say, no discomfort to the patient. And you'll notice a difference right away. Not only the clinician notices it, but you will as well. How does it get rid of the bacteria? Is it a 
like a laser of, of light? It is. Okay. It is. What happens is the, the photosensitizing solution is a dye okay. that attaches, it's um, targeted specifically to attach to the gram-negative bacteria, which might not mean anything to Joe Public. It attaches to the gram-negative bacteria, and then in conjunction with the laser light, okay. it breaks through that cell wall and gets rid of the bacteria completely. And we as hygienists have never been able to do that. And I know as a hygienist too, that many of us think we're super hygienists and that we clean everything and there's nothing left after we've cleaned that periodontal pocket. Not the case, huh. not the case. So we now have periwave, um, and it also helps those patients where there's no more surgery that we can do. The refractory cases where we can help keep those teeth healthy enough for them to function with. What happens to the gums? You get periodontal pocket or pocket. That's if the you professional think, term, yes. Yes, if you think of, um, if I can explain it to you this way, if you think of your neck in a turtleneck, yeah. a tight turtleneck, okay. that's what the root of your tooth is around um, your tissue, and it should feel tight around there. Okay. And when you have gum disease, when you haven't had your teeth cleaned or you're not cleaning them properly, and some of us, you know, if they test bacteria, there are some people that have a more virulent type of bacteria, and okay. those are the patients we need to target as well because they need special and extra care. Yeah. But if that bacteria is left to harvest in there, that turtleneck gets loose and it deepens, and you end up with pocketing around the, um, around the tooth. What it does as well is it tends to, for lack of a better term, it eats away at the bone. And then your teeth are loose, and you hear people say they're, they're a little long in the tooth and the teeth are uh -huh. loosening. That's what happens. So essentially, left untreated, it can cause somebody to lose their teeth as well. So, so then if you use the periwave technology, mm -hmm. does it grow back? Does it kind of go back to how it was before? Exactly. Well, hopefully by that time, you know, we've got rid of all that bacteria. You're brushing and flossing better. Uh -huh. And for our patients, what we normally do is we check them. And if there's any inflammation or bleeding at any of the appointments, we specifically treat those teeth. Does it mean you have to have perio wave done every single time? No, no, because you'll notice a big difference in how healthy things are after sometimes just one use. So just one treatment or... Do Depen I have to come back all the time? It depends on the case. Okay. You know, it really is dependent on the case. And okay. it's safe to use around dental implants as well. And so you said it doesn't hurt? No. No and discomfort it's not at all. not going to burn my mouth? Nothing. It's a cold laser. There's cold. no okay. heat generated at all. And how long does it take? You said 60 seconds? 60 seconds per defect. Where can I get this done? Can, can any dentist or clinical hygienist do it? Or Yes, it's actually work? a... Um, an instrument. I'm assuming I can't do this on myself. No, okay. Okay. no, although you're very talented, I'm sure, but no, we prefer to <laughs> leave it to the licensed professionals. Okay. But your dentist or your dental hygienist can provide the treatment for you. Okay. And um, if they're looking for uh, an office, you can check the PerioWave website, which is www.periowave.com, and that will give you a list of the people in your area that will have uh, the PerioWave. Well, I'm going online. And if my dentist is not listed, I'm going to call them up <laughs> you to walk make sure the street. because I want this laser Good. to fix it all. Thank you. Thank you. To find a dental professional in your area or for further information, please visit periowave.com.